Hey guys, welcome back to another IceLine tutorial. This time we're focusing on installing 5PD specifically within an IceLine game panel environment. So that's going to walk you through creating the database, configuring uh, the JSON files that need to be done, and I'm going to walk you through all of it here. It's a pretty painless process, so if at any point in time you need to go and read the written script that I've provided with this video, then please do that. Uh, but otherwise, feel free to pause, slow down, or do whatever you have to do with this video to follow along. And the first two websites that I want you to go ahead and open is going to be your IceLine server control panel here, where you have your console and your file manager. And then you'll also want to navigate to the link provided that takes you to the latest download of 5PD. In this video, it's going to be version 1.4.1. .1. It may be a later version in the video or by the time you get around to downloading it and installing it. If anything changes dramatically, we'll make sure to go back and update this video. But for right now, we're going to download this file. And again, make sure you always pick the highest number. So again, 1.4.1. .1. Download it. Just let it sit down there. And then we're going to go back over here to the console browser. And let's move over to your databases. This is going to be the meat and potatoes of how we install it here. So you're going to want to click the blue new database button and then name your database something simple. I use 5PD since that's the purpose it's going to serve. Then make sure to hit the blue create database button. Now you'll have a little box here that shows the name of your database. It'll show the host, the port, the username and the password. We are going to use this momentarily. So go ahead and leave this up. But for right now, let's go ahead and open the 5PD file that we downloaded. And you'll want to drag this 5PD.SQL file right here to your desktop. Doesn't matter where, just put it somewhere on the desktop. That way it's going to be easy to find. Or if you have a whole lot of icons on your desktop and you want to take it somewhere else, that's fine. Just remember where you put it. Oh, apparently mine's already there and I just don't see it. So after that, we're going to hit this little icon right here. It looks like stack coins or something along those lines, platters. I don't know what you want to call it. It may ask you if you want to log in since you haven't done this before. There should be a blue OK or go button down at the bottom right. And that's the button you'll want to click. Then you'll come to this main screen right here. Now what we're looking for here is the import tab. So go ahead and click on import. You're going to want to choose your file here under file to import. And then you want to find the 5pd.sql that you drug to your desktop. So go ahead and choose that file, click open. Then you're going to want to hit the blue go button down here. If it's successful, you'll see that it says it has successfully finished. In this case, it's 34 files executed that may change in the future. Again, if there's something radically different, we will update this for sure. Uh, but we are done here now, so we don't need this one. So you can go back to your uh, game panel over here and just close that one out. As a matter of fact, we won't need the official uh, release section for 5PD either. So now you'll want to navigate over here to your desired um, client that accesses your game panel files. And you'll want to go ahead and open your server.cfg. So right click on your server.cfg file, go to edit. You can just hit open, but I like to use notepad++. So I just click notepad++. And then under here, you'll see the default 5M resources. You may or may not have other things added. That's fine if you do. Just go to the bottom of the ensure list and then just type in ensure 5PD then hit save and close. All right, now open up your 5PD download folder again, and you'll see a 5PD folder here. You're gonna wanna drag that to your resources folder and then let it finish processing. Now, once that is done, go ahead and double click your resources folder. Go ahead and double click your 5PD folder. Now yours will look a little different right here because I've shuffled all of my default programs right here into this folder but don't worry about that 
Then you'll want to go down to config.json. You want to right click, edit, and again, I do Notepad++. You can do Notepad, Internal Editor, whatever you want to do. So then you get this config.json file. So now we have to fill in all of this, but the first thing you want to do is make sure that DB is set to FQLite. It should be set to that by default, so you shouldn't have to mess with anything there. But then I would suggest splitting your screen here so you get everything uh, in an easy to bounce back and forth format. So your username is going to be quite simply listed as username in your database panel. You can click it and it will copy it to your clipboard automatically. Then you can just replace root with your username. And of course, all my stuff is blurred out, but if there's any difference in what it's called here to what it's called in the panel, I'll let you know and I'll make a mention of it. But password is password, so click password on your database. And be very careful not to erase or add any characters to it. And then you'll want to copy and paste that as well. Again, being very careful not to uh, mess with that. And then over here on host, it'll be named host. So, so far we are name for name here. Iceline makes it super easy that way. And then you just want to copy and paste that over here into your document as well. Leave your port 3306 and then your database name, just click it. So it's going to be the far left one over here beside the stacked icons, pancakes, or whatever you want to call it. And go ahead and paste your database name. And then make sure you save the file and whatever you're editing in and then you can close the program and you should be good to go now so we can close this and now go back to your console and hit start and in the process of starting it may take a couple seconds here but you'll see that everything starts good and basically what we're looking for is errors and if you don't have any errors which will be uh in red and it'll say unloading 5pd um, then you know you've done something wrong you should encounter that in the database section before you ever get to this point but if you're successful and you should be watching this video you'll see that 5pd has started right here started resource and you see that 5pd has loaded everything correctly now you should be able to jump into your uh, server and hit f11 and go on duty and start playing 5pd but then also make sure to read 5PD's documentation on how to get started as far as logging into the CAD and using the admin features. I hope you guys found this easy to follow, and I hope you enjoy playing 5PD.